All right, welcome to Volo. <clears throat> this is the Volo Sterling Engine Project, <clears throat> where we are design, developing, and manufacturing a low-cost Sterling engine. Output about one kilowatt of power <clears throat> to generate electricity. The engine is a multiple or flexible fuel type of engine. It can use anything for heat, wood, propane, natural gas, concentrated solar, whatever it might be. <clears throat> project was started about a year ago. We successfully funded the initial project with a Kickstarter uh, effort. <clears throat> we have been working for about a year now and we've just completed our first assembly of the engine and now we're looking to ramp up our production to get to five engines per month. We need to add a couple of people to do that. <clears throat> what I want to do now is take you through the history of the project, show you a couple of the uh, elements of it, where we're at on it today and where we're going. So bear with me and hope you enjoy our presentation. The project started off with a CAD model of the engine. We took this CAD model and uh, ran it through kinematics, some stress analysis, and from that we cut out uh, foam patterns of each of the part. Those foam patterns we then took and uh, coated with a slurry mixture for direct casting and loose sand. Now there's going to be a little smoke. Here's the results of one of the castings. This is the head. It casts up well. Uh, some gas bubbles, the venting is very important. After the casting is done, we then take them down to the tech shop and machine them up. And you can see in this next picture, we have a bevy of uh, parts. Uh, kinematics here were all cut on a water jet down at uh, the tech shop. Here the engine is laid out with both the pistons and the kinematics assembled. And then uh, assembled and uh, standing with the firebox, uh, here's the engine. And uh, we're just using oil drum as the firebox here. Let's get a quick look-see at the engine from the front here. You can see the, uh, the hot end without the cap on it. And if you look closely inside, you can see that's the displacer in there. Let me see if I can get a little motion on there so you can see how the kinematics are working. It's receding into the, into the cylinder. And coming back up at the head of the head of the cycle. At the hot end, you can see we're just getting the sensors fitted. Uh, we've got basically a pressure sensor up here. We've got a temperature sensor, and we've got a um, analog uh, pressure sensor there. We're going to take these sensors back. We also have a uh, another temperature sensor in the back on the towards the cold end. We're going to take them back and run them into uh, our Arduino uh, circuit which you can see on the laptop here. And here's the final assembled engine sealed up and in testing. Now we have 30 of these to make. We lasted a year on the Kickstarter funds but we need more funds to bring on a couple people to up our production to five engines a month. We have 30 of these to build. We need your help to make that happen. All right, well, thanks for listening. That's the Volo Sterling Engine Project. We need your support to make this happen, to bring it across the finish line. So put on your Volo hat and come on board. Thanks again for your support, and we'll see you at the next update.